What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, and in today's video we are going to be talking about a recent Corey Taylor statement. Now Corey was recently on the Marshall podcast with Daniel P. Carter and had this to say. Have, have there been those moments though where you've lost sight of that a bit? Only when I was drinking. Yeah. Um, and that's only because, and it wasn't because of the music, like I was still committed to the music, but... I was so out of it yeah. that um, that it, it took me out of myself. So I, I can't even in include that because it wasn't me mm. at the time, you know. Yeah. Um, but I also I also know that one of the things that I realized and what it actually encouraged me down the road of of uh, sobriety was seeing how bad my uh, my voice was sounding how bad my uh creative level was at hmm. that was a huge piece in me kind of you know you know calling it a day on that shit it's it's a funny one isn't it because there's almost this romantic as, as we were saying before we started recording there's this uh, almost romanticism about about being that that artist that, yeah. that lives that world mm -hmm. and you know and there's so few examples of people that have that have managed to to be creative and and carry themselves through that and yet it just seems to be this myth that's 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 embedded in the very like heart of rock and roll yeah it's i think it's encouraged by the people who are actually embedded in that yeah you know they they want people to think that it's hard to create without chemicals mm. you know and that's some that's some addict language yeah because i used to do that for me from a performing standpoint i used i was convinced that i couldn't perform if i didn't have a jack and coke mm. at least one and then that became two and then that became half a bottle you know, hmm. that's a, that's addict, that's addiction, you know? Hmm. So I think that's a, a myth per, or perpetuated by addicts who are looking for people to reinforce their dependency, you know? And it's easy. I mean, especially when you see the antics and hear the, oh, it's such a great time. And there were great times. Yeah, for sure. You know? However, that had nothing to do with making an album. That had nothing to do with writing and performing and and you know using your ability. That was the that was the after effect. You know that was the after party. I have only been loaded in the studio twice. You know, and I didn't like it one bit. I was because I couldn't control anything. Yeah, you know. And and then listening back to shit, I was like, oh, this is horrible. You know, I just, I, why did I do that? Hmm. You know? So I've really tried to to kind of kill that myth for people. It's like, it's like if, you, if that's what you think, then, I mean, God bless you. That's fine. If that's what works for you, that's what works for you. I'm not going to convince you otherwise. However, it is not the law of the land. Yeah. You don't have to be loaded to fucking create. You don't have to be loaded to fucking have a good time. You know, mm. I actually think you sound better and play better, and you 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 just you have a better energy when you're not. You know, yeah. Because then the focus is on you. It's you don't you. There are no uh, there are no excuses after that. It's you, and that's the rawness of what we do. So yeah, I very much felt compelled to make a video in response to Corey's statements. What a beautiful message. I'm sure that most of you guys know, and for anybody that's new to the channel, I like to end my videos with say no to drugs and alcohol. So clearly, I 100% stand behind Corey's message. Now, I personally have never in my life done any sort of drugs, and I've never been drunk. Of course, I've tasted alcohol, but I've never done it to, like, get drunk. One of the only times that I can ever remember tasting alcohol was completely on accident. I grabbed a blue can of what I thought was 
Pepsi and turned out that it was Bud Light and I realized that really quickly when I put it in my mouth and tasted nothing but gross piss. So I somewhat recently started ending my videos with say no to drugs and alcohol. I just wanted to put a very positive message in the end of my videos and that was the one that I felt the most strongly about so it just came natural. And I really really expected a lot of backlash when I started putting that in there. But to my surprise I've received almost no hate on that and it's actually been a very big embrace. People from all over my fan base getting behind the message, multiple people telling me that they've used me as a reminder to stay sober, and tons of people sharing their personal experiences and reasons for never getting involved. A lot of people also think that I've had some sort of trauma that's led me to be this way and being completely against drugs and alcohol, but I can assure you that literally nothing negative has ever happened to me to make me think this way. I was born into and raised around rock and metal music, and basically as a kid my friends and role models were my parents' friends, and they were all in bands. So yep, you guessed it, party animals. I was definitely around that shit from day one, and clearly my parents didn't just offer me alcohol as a child, but I was definitely in the environment. And for whatever reason, I never once had the urge to try anything growing up. I never wanted to get drunk, I never wanted to smoke, I just did not have the desire whatsoever, and I've never understood why people do. So anyways, long story short, I'm extremely glad someone as prominent as Corey Taylor has stated this, and that it's making its rounds on the internet. Being shit-faced is and has been the norm for so long, and it really just drives me crazy. And a lot of people are going to argue that if it weren't for drugs or alcohol, we wouldn't have insert band name, album name, song name, what have you. And while that is completely true, in a sense, I just still don't think that it justifies these things for me and probably even the people that created said song, music, album, whatever, while intoxicated. So again, I fully 100% agree with Corey Taylor here, and I'd like to further extend his message to my... Uh, Sorry. I'd like to further extend his message to my audience and just let you guys know that you don't need any of that shit to do whatever it is that you're wanting to do. And honestly, if one person walks away from this video and makes a better decision because of it, I will feel completely gratified. I think a lot about people my age and younger and what they're spending their money on every single weekend and what that money could be going to. And a lot of people can't figure out how I can afford to live the way that I live and buy the things that I buy. But almost every single person in my city that I can think of, my friends and included, go out every single weekend and spend ungodly amounts of money on alcohol. And I just don't get it. I don't understand why you would spend your money on something that won't last, is going to make you look stupid, and make you feel like shit when you could be spending your time and money on honing in your craft. I can almost guarantee that you're going to feel much more accomplished spending your time and money and putting effort into something that you are passionate about. I've been saying this for a very long time, and I'm pretty certain that I didn't get it from anywhere. It's just a thought that I had on my own. But I've always said that if people were as addicted to progress as they were to the garbage that is drugs and alcohol, it is very hard to tell where we would be at as a society. P.S. I do fully support medicinal marijuana. I just want to get that out there. Even recreational marijuana use I don't really care about. I don't ever remember hearing about somebody hitting a blunt and then beating their wife. I also can't think of any cases of someone eating a pot brownie and driving headfirst into oncoming traffic. Just wanted to make that clear. So I'm going to add the link to Corey Taylor's interview down below. Would highly suggest going and checking that out. I'm AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol. And until next time, we will see you later.